Hello and welcome back Upper School to our English lessons. What I thought I'd start with our week five with is just taking a look at this fantastic picture the author has chosen. Now this is a really nice double spread and as you can see from here that this picture is actually what looks like hand painted and been drawn. There's some really fantastic areas that we could be using to create some fantastic description of this setting that the girl has now walked into. So, what's our focus for this week? Well, our focus for this week is a simile. Okay, so looking at similes. And a simile is a figure of speech that directly compares two different things. The simile is usually in a phrase that begins with the words as or like. This is different from a metaphor. So just remember that it is different from a metaphor, which is also a comparison but when one says something is something else, okay? So a simile uses the words like and as, and a metaphor says that it is like something else. So let's just take a look, shall we, at some examples. You're a star. Now, obviously it's a very common saying between us as teachers, but one of those things is that you're not actually a star. Okay, you're not a star in the sky. It's a figure of speech. It is what, what, as we've said here, it's a phrase that is used. And you are being compared to a star, which is someone that shines, or something that shines bright and does well. Let's take a look at this next one. The soup was as hot as the surface of the sun. What I want you to think is this is a simile or is it a metaphor? It's a simile, isn't it? Because it uses the word as. Can we see that? So the soup is being compared to the surface of the sun using as. So therefore it's a simile. Let's take a look at the next one. She looked like she had seen a ghost. So we are comparing the girl and how she looks like she has seen a ghost, okay? And that word, like, again, tells us that it's a simile. So, using this fantastic picture that we've got in this book, let's take a look at some examples that refer to this image and how it can look like in a piece of longer writing. As she emerged from the door, the girl's eyes were round saucers as she gazed in astonishment at the beautiful woodland scene before her. So, remember this is our picture. She's just walked in the door, so as she emerged from the door, the girl's eyes were round saucers. What is this? This bit here, the girls were, uh, were round saucers. Is it a simile or is it a metaphor? Well, the fact that they're not using the words like or as tells us that it's a metaphor. And it's comparing the girl's eyes, saying that they are round saucers. As she gazed in astonishment at the beautiful woodland scene before her. Let's take a look at the next sentence. Strung from the branches of trees were lights that twinkled like stars in the night sky. Well, we know that lights are being compared. And what are lights being compared to? Pause the film and see if you can work out what. Did you find it? It was that they were being compared to stars in the night sky. Okay, so the lights that twinkled like stars in the night sky. And the word that gives it away that it's a simile is that word like. So we've got a metaphor which compares but says that it is something else. And we've got a simile which compares using the word like. Let's take a look at the next sentence. Hidden among the trees, a small stream twisted and turned through the landscape like a tangle of string. What a lovely sentence. And what we can see here is that a small stream is our object that's being compared because it twists and it turns through the landscape like a tangle of string. So it's saying it's being compared to a tangle of string and as it's weaving, it looks similar to that. And a word that is 
tells us that it's a simile is again that word like. Let's look at the next sentence. Walking towards the stream, a fresh breeze ruffled her hair gently. Is there any similes or metaphors in there? I can't see any. What about the last one? Under her feet, the grass was a carpet of green velvet. Well, we can definitely know that carpet is being compared to something. And it's being compared to, to something that is the girl is walking on. It's being compared to the grass. Can we see that the word was a tells us that it is something like that? Therefore, it cannot be a simile, but has to be a metaphor. So going back to this, the grass, which the girl is standing on, was a carpet of green velvet. Now these similes and metaphors help us to understand and really picture the image if we couldn't see this. So my challenge to you is either by using this picture or trying to describe your own landscape, can you use some similes and metaphors to create a fantastic setting description? I look forward to reading some. And don't forget, you can post these on Purple Mash and the teachers will look out for them. And I will speak to you next week in our English lessons.